Hello everybody. Today will be a vlog episode and if a vlog episode isn't something that you're really into, go ahead and just skip this and there'll be another tra travel episode for you soon or uh, maybe you can go back and watch one of the ones that you haven't seen already. Otherwise, I'd love to have you for the rest of the episode. Now, I'm about to go into one of my favorite pizza places, Pagliacci's, and show you what I think is one of the best slices in Seattle. Thin crust, not doughy, New York style. Now, this is not a paid endorsement by Pagliacci's. I, I just like sharing with you guys what some of my favorite things to eat and do are, and Pagliacci's is one of them. I don't have any paid endorsements. My channel's not nearly big enough to have those yet. The reason I'm doing a vlog today instead of a travel episode is because I'm waiting around for the window to be replaced in my BMW. I'm using Safelite Auto Glass and they do a mobile service, which is how I scheduled it. That way I don't have to worry about taking it somewhere and sit in the office and waiting. And they gave me a window for install today between 12 and 5 p.m. So with this five hour window, I, I kind of have to stay pretty close proximity uh, to my car. So I just have to hang around the Aurora and Greenwood area. So that I'd stop in Ross real quick and see if maybe, maybe I get lucky and score a cheap shirt or a jacket, but uh, no. Ross is not what it used to be. Now the shelves are pretty bare and uh, it's not a good spot anymore. Which is why I prefer TJ Maxx. 130, still waiting on the call. Much nicer store. The Ross stores around here are just kind of dingy and depressing. found a jacket that I liked and uh, <laughs> I think it was locked to the rack so I had to have somebody unlock it so I could try it on and, and then they took it up front so I won't be able to show you until after I buy it. Apparently security is really an issue. They're locking their $50 jackets to the rack. Well I didn't find any shirts but I did score on this blue jacket. Here I'll show it to you. Something to keep me warm now. It's 2.30 and I just got off the phone with the guy from Safelite who was gonna do my install. He said he came out and looked at my car and he doesn't have the right seal to go around it. So they're having to order that from the dealership. Man, I've been in Seattle for a week and a half today and still no window. Since I don't have to wait around on the window anymore, I think I wanna head down to one of my favorite parks, Carkeek Park which should be filled with all sorts of fall color. Heading into Carkeek Park now, and this is one of my favorite drives. It's this winding road down into the park. Carkeek is definitely one of my favorite parks and I'm probably a little biased because I spent a, a, a lot of my childhood and my teenage years playing in this very park. But the things that I really love about this park is how diverse it is. That it has this, this play area that you see here that's up above the beach and then just down here there's the beach which I'll show you. And, and then all up around the whole park 
through the trees, there's all kinds of hiking trails that you can hike and it connects with the surrounding neighborhoods. So if you live in one of the neighborhoods over here or a couple this way, you can walk down the street to a trail and then right into Carkeek Park. <laughs> And if you have little ones, Karkik is one of the best family parks that I can think of. They have, the, they have the play area back here, big grass area, and then toys for the kids. They also run some preschools out of the park and some other environmental education courses for children. Quite often I find myself coming down here when I have nothing to do or I just really feel like relaxing. It's a good quiet place to go. People aren't here to party and the scenery. beautiful beach it's very like marine beach which is you know I guess anything that's by the ocean is a marine beach but what I mean by that is that it's not this nice white sand you know swimming beach or surfing beach it's sand and it's rocky you know you, you can smell the the sea and the, and the seaweed and at times you can see sea lions and sea otters swimming around here and sometimes on the beach so a great marine beach. Feels, smells, and sounds like home. Now, you know, I'm pretty blessed. As you know, I, I've spent a lot of time in Chelan, and you've seen me out there, and it probably looks like I'm from Chelan. Well, the truth about that is yes, but I'm also from Seattle. My mom moved out here when I was a kid, and so I grew up on both sides of the mountain. My dad was on one side, my mom was on the other. Seattle was great because I got to experience the city life, and then Chelan was great because I got to experience the small town life. Not only a small town, but a resort town with the fourth cleanest lake in the nation. So I got to swim all summer long and learn a lot of the values from the city as well as from the small town and have a little bit more rounded perspective on how things work. Mm -hmm.